Hi friends, with a hot cup of green tea, I welcome you to our classroom today as we introduce integration as the reverse of differentiation.
that is increasing the power by one because integration leads to an increase in the power. Now, let me show you something. If we differentiate with respect to x, if we differentiate x squared, we are simply going to get 2x. Because you bring down your power and subtract when you get 2x. Okay, if we differentiate with respect to x, let's say x squared minus 3. Can you get what's, guess what your answer is going to be? Your answer will simply be equal to 2x. Now, when you differentiate with respect to x, and then maybe you have um, x squared plus 7, you still end up with 2x. Therefore, when we want to integrate 2x, the confusion now becomes which of these functions are we going to do? In other words, the integral of 2x with respect to x can be any of this. So in order to avoid that confusion, you see what is happening? The constant here is 0, the constant here is minus 3, the constant here is 7. So there are so many functions that can have an integral of 2x. In order to eliminate this confusion, this is what we call indefinite integration. Whenever you integrate, you always need a constant because we are not sure which particular function we are talking about. The field of solving differential equations is what helps us determine which particular constant we are talking about. So whenever you integrate any function, like you integrate this, you are going to get 2x squared. Then instead of specifying a particular constant, we are simply going to use the letter C. Some authorities are going to use the letter A. Or letter A or some are going to use the letter K, any constant at all. So generally speaking now, based on what we have shown here, if we were to integrate x to the power n dx, we are simply going to get 1 all over, you get 1 over n plus 1, then you have x to the power n plus 1, plus a constant of integration. Whenever you perform an indefinite integration, there has to be a constant added to it for the reasons that we have not explained here. Now, let's take one or two examples of what we did. We were to integrate, let's say, x squared to x. If you want to integrate x squared to x, it's very, very simple. We are simply going to have 1 all over 2 plus 1, then x to the power 2 plus 1 again. 2 plus 1, then we always put a constant of integration. And this thing now gives me 1 all around 2 plus 1 is 3. So I have 3, then x to the power 2 plus 1 is 3 plus a constant of integration. So what this simply means is that whenever I'm to integrate, I simply take the reciprocal of the power increased by 1. That gives me 1 over 3, then x, then I increase the power again by 1. Now, what if I were to integrate, let's say x to the power 5 dx, this simply becomes 1 all over 5 plus 1 is 6, and then I have x, 5 plus 1 again gives me 6, plus the constant of integration. Now, what if I were asked to evaluate integral of x to the power 1 over 2? This is just like we are finding the integral of the square root of x. The square root of x is the same thing as 1 over x, as 1 over 2, x to the power 1 over 2. And this is simply going to be equal to 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1 in x to the power 1 over 2 plus, plus 1 in of the constant of integration. And this simply gives me. 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2. So I simply have 1 divided by 3 over 2. Then we have x to the power. 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2. So I have 3 all over 2 plus my constant of integration. Now the reciprocal of 3 over 2 is simply going to be equal to 2 divided by 3. Then we have x to the power 3 all over 2 plus a constant. Now we take one last example. What if we were to ask to evaluate the integral?
natural of x to the minus 1 with respect to x. Very, very simple. It simply becomes equal to 1 over that. The power is minus 5 plus 1. Then we have x to the power minus 5 plus 1 plus a constant of integration. And this simply becomes equal to minus 5 plus 1 is simply minus 4. Hello everyone, thank you so very much for coming around and for tuning in to SEP TV. I hope you have learned something from our classroom today. We hope to see you again next time. And just in case you have not subscribed to SEP TV, you can do that right now. Do have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.